Can you, can you tell us what it felt like to be recruited? And drafted? To be recruited? And drafted? Um, yeah, it was amazing. I had a, I was a late I was a late draft pick though, so I, I had a party in my house, you know, for the draft. I was getting my consolation speech ready because I didn't know if I was going to be taken, but I uh, ended up getting taken the last pick of the sixth round, thankfully, and um, you know got to play in the Super Bowl this past year. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, is it okay if we jump right in? They've been doing a research project where they've been looking at lesions and seeing how that leads to... I can't hear you guys. And I know there's some sensitive info you can't share, but is it okay if they ask you some questions? Oh, oh guys, can't hear you. Okay. 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 Who's okay. going to ask? Who's going to ask? Yeah, Will. Yeah, Will. Okay. Come on yeah. over, Will. Come on over, Will. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, does anyone have any question they need to ask right now? Or are we going to go on the Find that. Okay. Snap this. Sorry. Turn up the volume. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe that will work better? Can you hear us, Ted? I can hear you a little bit better now. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Do you have the list of questions that I sent to Rachel? Otherwise, I can I pull do. those up. Okay. Um, I, I know there are some that are sensitive that you are unable to answer due to your position, and we don't want you to lose your job. So, if you want to just identify what question you're going to answer, or going to be answered, and then answer, that'd be great. I, I, I looked over all these. I can answer all of these. This is oh. fine with me. All right, great. Yeah. He said he can answer any question. No, I'm looking weird because I'm trying to listen to you guys. I'm, I'm real close to the camera. All right. Well, the first question was, do you feel safe playing the game with your helm with the helmet and equipment you have right now? I do, and I know that it's it is a very violent game, and one that I've had several injuries and not to my head. But you do sometimes not feel completely safe playing football because it's. Um, you know, the biggest, fastest people on earth. It's very violent, but yes, in my helmet, I do feel safe uh, and protected, head-wise. And then the next question was, have you suffered any major concussions? If so, how many? I have never had a documented concussion, um, but I, that's just because I never returned myself in. Um, I, I, uh, I probably have one memorable one playing Michigan as a sophomore in college where I lost vision seconds. Um, but that would be like the, that would be the only concussion that I can remember that was memorable. But I'm sure I've had a bunch of little ones. Have you ever heard of cysts and are you scared of getting second second impact syndrome? Yeah, I'm just reading off the, um, if you want to, yeah, so if you want to call it to the mic, sometimes I can't hear okay. you still, but I have the questions here. Um, Great. And number three was, have I ever heard of second impact syndrome? Yes. Um, and I'm not sure what kind of, what, what class is this? Where are you guys right now? Physics. Physics. Physics? Yes. 
Ah, what? City. What city? Uh, Rich 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 Rich. I thought it was Trumbull for a second. Ah, cool. Um, yes, I have heard of second impact syndrome. Um, I don't know too much about it, but I guess the gist of what I think it would be is if you had a concussion and then got a second concussion on top of that, it could be more serious and potentially you know, career-threatening. Anyone want to add anything? Who asked that question? No. Okay. So the next question is, are the coaches and trainers looking closely at concussion recovery after they have occurred? Yeah, in the, in, in the NFL, um, there's a strict concussion protocol now that was spelled out in our last labor deal. Um, that There are spotters in the stadium be watching the game and if they suspect that anyone has a concussion they'll be taken out of the game and what we do before the season is we take a bunch of baseline tests so we'll take a, like the impact test on the computer or there's a couple different field tests a balance test uh, a memorization test and a general you know cognitive awareness test that we take before the season so that if we do suffer a concussion um, or a suspected concussion, they can test to see either how severe it is or if it's present at all. All right, next question is, are you afraid of developing CTE? Yeah, probably. I mean... A lot of, I mean, a lot of the guys that have died early on um, and donated their brains to science have had it. Um, but I mean, my grandpa played nine years in the NFL, uh, you know, in the in the '60s, and he died when he was 83. So he did develop dementia around 75, but that's pretty normal. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I am. It is a disease that we don't know really anything about, and it seems that football players are the only ones who, who get it um, and you know it's driven some people to do some crazy stuff so uh, it is a concern but I can't dwell on it right now do you have any recommendations for improvements in equipment to keep players safer we had number five yeah yes Okay. Um, well, they do have some really great helmets now. Uh, and I think a lot of the rule changes have helped a lot. But, um, you know, one thing that hasn't been researched as much, and which is specific to my position because I play offensive line, is just mini hits. Because I, I don't have, like, huge wide out like, big collisions where my collisions come from about – you know, a foot to two feet away from someone with my head, leading with my head. So um, I would, you know, there needs to be some studies on guys who just take, I take like 80 of those hits a game as opposed to some guys take one or two big hits that, you know, uh, give you a concussion-like symptoms where I don't have concussion-like symptoms, but I take 80 hits to the head a game that are just mini hits. Do you know any teammates or other players that have suffered from CTE symptoms? No, because uh, there's not really, uh, from what I know about this disease, is there's not really symptoms until it's, um, I don't know, no one currently playing. I mean, you just wouldn't assume. I'm sure people do. I mean, I, I don't really know much about it. It's just like, like a protein builds up in your brain. I, I'm just... I'm led to believe, so, I mean, we all could have it. I mean, knock on wood that we don't, but um, I don't know anyone who's currently you know, treating themselves for it, no. Okay. Is it worth playing football knowing the negative impacts on health? I think so. I mean, I, I'm not going to get paid um, 
like I'm getting compensated now for any job as a 24 year old. You know, it gives, it's going to give me a good head start in life. Um, you know, I have had other surgeries, you know, like my wrist, foot, knee, um, injuries like that that could affect me in the long run, but I, I wouldn't, uh, I would definitely say it's worth it, um, especially that at this level. You know, all the connections and, and uh, you know, jumpstart I'll get in my young life. <laughs> Just a sidetrack, um, what has your experience been like playing in the NFL? Yeah. It's not a question on the list. Oh. Oh, you know what? I think you muted the one closest to you. Okay. okay. What's your experience been like in the NFL? Oh, yes. My experience has been great so far. I got to hop on um, a quite a storied franchise right away and play. Um, I mean, the NFL's – it's not, you know – the show Ballers, if anyone watches that, is a little dramatic, but there's some aspects of that are correct. But um, it's been very fun. You get to travel the country playing football, and then you get five months off in the winter. So it's uh, hopefully I can play as long as I can, you know, as long as they'll have me. All right. Um, let's move on to the question that was next, which is number eight. No, nine. If you got a concussion, would you be tempted to return to play if it was a big game? Yes. I would play. And unless they pulled me out, unless they forced me not to play, I would be in the game. Um, yeah. I don't, there's no reason I would come out unless they told me that I had to based on the league rules. Yeah, it's just something in football players is maybe to a fault that we want to play through um, injuries and stuff like that. So I would um, I would stay in the game unless I was pulled out by the spotter doctors. Thank you for your honesty. If there was one thing that you would change about um, to better protect yourself from hits or to protect other players in the game, what would it be and why? Yeah, I'm trying to think about that one. Um, I'll probably make it a little bigger, to be honest. Um, but then you lose stuff. If, if I'm just solely trying to protect my head, I would make it a little bit bigger. But that then you have to trade off vision and the weight of it. Because the weight of a helmet, a football helmet is about... Like, I would probably say close to, you know, six, seven pounds. So, you, you know, as much as you get up that, you're wearing that on your head all day. Um, but there's definitely trade-offs. But to protect my head, I'd probably make it bigger with more padding. But then you have to give up vision and, 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 uh, and, and speed. So those are all things you have to consider. Do you feel the training you do is similar to the level of intensity during a game? Yeah. Um, I, like weight training and stuff? Yes, and practice. Well, yeah, practice is always, I think, a little bit more intense and harder than a game. Um, because you, you once you get to the game, you want it to just be a little bit easier and, and you're con well conditioned to do it. But... Um, that's not like that in every program in the NFL, but around around uh, here, uh, practice is, is pretty intense. And um, but there, you know, there's nothing like a football game intensity wise. With you know, there's sorry line. So it is uh, it is definitely a, an intense experience. Yeah. You can ask. Do you hit your head a lot in practice? Yeah, I mean, it's just like a game. I mean, but like I said, it wasn't uh, – I don't have, like, the big collision hits. I have – you know, I have a D lineman about a yard away from me, three feet away from me, where our heads meet, you know, with relatively not as much buildup. So – where, where guys, you know, get in trouble with concussions is like a wide receiver coming over the middle – 
going up for a ball and then a head to head collision. And when they're both running, you know, 18 to 22 miles per hour. So it's a different kind of hit to your head where I just take little micro hits. And I was kind of just thinking out loud when I said that just to see, you know, how, you know, if there's any research on that, I don't know. Maybe that's something you guys can look into. Great. Can you explain what your worst tackle felt like or your worst hit? Yeah, I've actually only made uh, like two tackles in my whole life. So, so I played on offense, but I did, I did make a tackle in my worst tackle. Um, it felt like someone punched me right in the forehead. And, you know, the next morning I woke up and I had, you know, my nose had been bleeding all night, so I just blood all over my face. So that was pretty scary. That was probably my scariest moment as a football player, waking up with blood all over my face. So all right. that's what it feels like. It, it felt like just, some, you know, I don't know. How many of y'all have been punched in the face? But um, <laughs> that's what it felt like. All right. Have there been any major rule changes that you've seen while you've been a player? And that could be high school level, college level, or co professional? Yeah, I'd say the main rule is the targeting rule. That's, um, and in college, you get ejected. For leading with your helmet on a big hit, any helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact is a 15-yard penalty and you're thrown out. Um, that's a big rule change in college. I got implemented probably halfway through my college career. And in the NFL, they have the similar rule of targeting, but it, it doesn't come with an ejection. It comes with fines. So a lot of guys, you know, after a, a Sunday game, you'll, uh, you'll get a letter in your locker and uh, you, you have to pay a fine for an illegal hit. So they're really trying to cut back on helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact, and they're fining guys and suspending guys. And um, you have to, you know, it's there's a certain way you have to tackle in the NFL now, and that's between. They call it the, uh, the strike zone is below the neck and above um, the knees are, is where you would want to tackle someone. You can only use your shoulder you know, or your chest, and you know, they used to teach leading with your face and see what you hit, but now you're tr they're trying to tell us to keep our helmet and head all the way out of it. I think that's all the questions on our list that haven't been already covered. Does anyone have anything else that they want to ask that they've thought of since we've been talking? You missed the one about the mind. Yes, the person who asked that, Kevin, can you come ask your question about the F7? The F7 helmet, can you come ask it so you can explain more? The question about the new helmet. You asked a question about a specific helmet. Oh my gosh. Okay. Does anyone else have another question they want to share? I didn't even hear that question. Oh, yes. He's coming over to explain it. I'm not going to ask. Oh, okay. There's a student that's going to ask it because he knows the details of okay. it. Come. You're looking at a specific helmet. Come over here, Kevin. I'm not sitting down. You're sitting down. No, I'm not. Sit. No. Sit. No. Oh, my goodness. Stop. <laughs> the new helmet you were looking at was a tectonic plate. Tectonic plate? Never mind. You lost he, your he pants. Bought, he, bought okay. his, he probably didn't have a helmet. He just said he did. He, he, he just said he could answer all the questions. He probably didn't have a helmet. We got to hear this question now. Have you, you guys? Kevin, Kevin, just pretend like you Have you heard anything about the S7 helmet? <laughs> He's being shy. He, he, that that one has the mic. That's all I heard. Have you heard, have you tried any, have you tried the new F7 helmet, the new shot? I have not tried the new F7 helmet. I've heard it's pretty good though. But I have uh, I just wear a Revolution Speed helmet by Rydell. The Speed Flex. The Speed Flex. What's that? The Speed Flex. Yeah. You are so lucky. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know any teammates who wear the F7? 
I, I can't say for sure, but I mean, we're usually pretty cutting edge on uh, new helmet and equipment technology. So I'm sure some guys are trying it out. All right. Well, <laughs> I hope you right, so. Thank you. <laughs> Does anyone else have anything to add? Or do you just want to ask him a question while you've got a pro athlete on the phone? Do you get your equipment for free? <laughs> We do, we do. Well, it, I mean, it's, it's our job, so they have to equip us <laughs> to do our job well. Yeah, just say it and be a human. <laughs> Are there any unknown perks about the job that aren't advertised? I get a free copy of Madden. <laughs> <laughs> free copy of Madden. <laughs> Are, have you been featured in Madden yet? <laughs> Are you in Madden? I am in Madden. <laughs> My Madden rating is terrible, though, so don't judge me on that, guys. <laughs> Yeah. Bye. <laughs> 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 Hulu, okay, someone else is coming up. This is the hot seat. Just the hot seat. Yeah. Get to the camera. Hello, sir. <laughs> I don't like Patriots, by the way. <laughs> but I have a question. So, right? Final. If there, like, if somebody had a concussion, right, and like it wasn't reported, would somebody else report it, like, for them, like, if they wasn't feeling good, like they knew they wasn't feeling good? Oh gosh. Damn, he hung up on you. No, he didn't. Oh. <laughs> what happens? Y'all being too loud. Yeah. Hey, well, you should you should unmute unmute the other computer because it's closer. Okay, I will. <laughs> there. Did you hear my? Uh, I need. Mean, you didn't. All right. Ask so again. What I said was like. No, if, I can't hear anything. Um, I don't know. No. I don't know if it's my end. No, I think, I think so, it's though. it's our system here. So a Can you hear right? anything now? <laughs> huh? Okay. All right, my question was, Miss, come on, <laughs> gotta hide myself. Anyways, my question was, if somebody had a concussion and it wasn't reported, would somebody else like on the team report it for them if they saw that they wasn't like doing okay? So that is a that was a point of emphasis this year in our you know yearly meetings was that if you do see someone you know who's struggling or who has and maybe in the huddle not acting themselves to report it, but I've never seen that happen in my career. Um, I don't think that would really happen unless someone was really just totally out of it. So I don't think that – that's not a very likely scenario. All right. How long has he played for? Dos. Dos. How long has he played for? Two years. No, no, no. How many years have you played for? I started playing football when I was eight years old in third grade. Did you play Pop Warner? That one, that I think one, maybe, maybe I was wrong with the mute that one. Did you play Pop Warner? <laughs> no, other way around. Other way around. This is quite the task. There we go. Hello. Did you play Pop Warner? Did you play Pop Warner? Um, I mean, it wasn't Pop Warner, the, the, that league, but I played in a little, you know, church league and played for my middle school. He plays as he was saying, never had a concussion. I started freshman year and I'm ready on my He third. said those because of the position he plays in. He gets the most contact. All right, we have a question, second, so second, silence second, in second, the background. Second, second. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, if you had kids, would you want your kids to play football? That's a good question. 
Did I always know I wanted to play football? No. If you had kids, would you want your kids to play football? Oh, um, I mean, if they wanted to, I would never force it on them, but it's allowed me a lot of opportunities in my life. I've gotten, you know, I have three degrees that I've never paid for. I got them completely paid for through football. <laughs> um, you know, I get compensating uh, very nicely for my age, and, um, you know, it, there's, it's afforded me every opportunity I've had in my life, free education and, and uh, a nice boost to start my life with. Um, but if they didn't want to play, I mean, it's a hard sport, you know. It's hard to play. It's it's hard to get good at. And um, I would never force it on them. But, if, you know, yeah, I would, I would definitely like if they did play. But it's not something that's okay. mandatory in my household. Thank you. I might have a team. <laughs> Miss, I might have a chance in the week. Um, I'm getting too old for this. I can't sit down. All right. <laughs> what? All right. So I got two questions. Do you like pizza? <laughs> Love pizza. Oh, what's your favorite kind? <laughs> Crumbled sausage with extra cheese. Well done. That sounds fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, all right. Now, my second question is that um, what do you eat on a daily basis? Well, we have a great cafeteria at um, the stadium, so I actually don't have to make any meals. I eat all three meals at the stadium, and they have a pretty balanced. We have a, we have a full-time nutrition staff that customizes our meals for us, so... Is it free? Um, <laughs> is it what? Is it free? It is free, yes. Miss, don't play me. It's over. Can we go on together? Miss, I might have a You're, a, you're recruiting a lot of students right now. How tall are you? Miss, how tall are you? Yeah. How tall are you? <laughs> Okay. I might have a chance. No. Do you have like six questions? I'm like five, seven, nothing. Do I have a chance? <laughs> let him size you up, and then we'll see. Let him size you up. If he's like right here, I can. One kid wants to know if he has a chance. If he has a chance to play football professionally. I'm only five seven and a half or buck twenty. I know this is technical but difficulties is killing us, but I know. I give up. Well you're Kevin Kevin. Well, can he give me one of the key flexes? <laughs> he wants to know if he has a chance at professional football. At five seven. <laughs> Why are you so scared? <laughs> He's answering your question. Listen. Say it again. Say it again. Yes, of course you have a chance. I didn't Don't lie to him. He's supposed to be a matter. I want one of the speed flex. Have you ever seen a speed flex? Miss, look at my speed flex. Any final question? I have Will ask his question. Okay, we have a relevant question from your game, your last game. So, on Sunday, what do you think about the call that um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jenkins did not score a touchdown it was turned over? What do I think about what? Uh, what do you think about the controversial play that you guys had against the Jets that got the ball turned over? So we have a controversy. I'm catching controversy here. Yeah. What is the controversy? It was, it was, this is the microphone. I can't okay. hear anything. Uh, that was on you. The play, I guess the play was uh, it was a fumble inside the end zone when you guys were playing the Jets on Sunday. Oh, yeah, with the Jets. Yeah, I mean, geez, I don't know all the rules really, but, you know, worked out for us, so I'm cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> From a Jets fan. Did you have a question, Steven? No. Did you have a question?
Last question. Oh, wow. Kevin got like 10 questions. Oh, yeah. I'm going to speak. Oh, no. All right, that's the last one, and then we won't take up any more of your time. Okay. Um. So my cousin is All right, everyone needs to be quiet, please. We're limited by technology here. We just got them on our phones. <laughs> so my cousin is a super big Patriots fan, and I think it would mean the world to him because he just had a baby. If a Patriots fan kind of, you know, said a congratulations. Like you want to record yeah. him saying it? If I could record oh. you. Sure. All right, hold on. <laughs> I mean, I'm already here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm oh, just here. <laughs> Tell him what to say. Congrats. Can you just say the um like congratulations? Type it in. Type oh. it in. Yeah, good, good thinking. Type what you want him to say, and then you'll record it. Okay. Thank you for being patient and answering all of our questions. We can get really annoying. Yeah, they're really annoying. Why don't you hear right here? I haven't even said a word. She and your baby. All right, cool. Yeah, tell me what. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Nate, congratulations on the baby. I'm wishing you guys the best. Go Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, do you have good judgment, Danny, on this? Not good. Okay, great. Okay. Can everyone say thank you? Thank you. There we go. Thank you for your time. It's awesome. Okay. Bye. Thank you very much. This was awesome. Appreciate it. Bye. Cool. You're off the hook. Thank you. That's all. Bye.